trigonometry, addition and subtraction theorems, part 3. We have to prove that the tan of a plus b equals the tan of a plus b over 1 minus tan a tan b, and part 2, the tan of a minus b is the tan of a minus tan of b over 1 plus tan a tan b. Now, we know that the tan of a plus b is the sine of a plus b over the cos of a plus b. So we just re, um, expand those uh, expressions that we've learned in the previous two videos. The sine of a plus b is the sine of a cos b plus cos a sine b over the cos of a cos b on the sine of a the sine of b. Right, the next little step, we just have to move this up a little bit here. We'll divide the numerator, okay, this numerator here, right here, okay, this one, numerator here, and the denominator by cos A, cos B. Okay, so what we'll have here, it's rather complicated. Let's see what I've done there. I've got the sine of A, cos of b over the cos of a cos b, cos of a sine b over the cos of a cos b, and the cos of a cos b over the cos of a cos b. So it's, I haven't actually changed the value of this, I've just changed its appearance. Because what happens then is that here, this these cos b's here, those guys there, oh, right, they go out, and you get the tan of A. And here, we'll see these cos A's go out here, and you get sine B on cos B, which is tan B. And of course, all that is just, that goes out once, and that goes out once. And of course, here we've got this. This becomes the tan of A. There it is there. And this becomes the tan of B there. All right, this is similar to the uh, previous video. To prove the next result here, that tan of a minus b equals the tan of a minus the tan of b over 1 plus tan a tan b, we simply replace, in this first one which is proved, this b with minus b. There goes, there's the minus b going in there, the minus b there, and the minus b there. So this be, simply becomes the tan of a minus b. But we know that the tan of minus b, like the sine, is minus the tan of b. So there it is there, minus the tan of b. And of course this is minus the tan of b, which changes that negative sign into a positive sign, and we have the, the desired result. Okay, so that's the um, tan of a plus b and tan of a minus b proof. I hope you find that interesting, and thank you very much for watching.